right guys, another adventure. Right, welcome back. Right, as I said in my last video, if you haven't gone and watched that video, please go and do it because then it explains a lot of things to you guys. So, right, as I said in my last video, I'm going to be doing some dehydration today. I do apologise that I haven't got no tripod because I've just basically broke it by accident. So, I have to use my sofa stick and my phone. So, yeah. So, we're going to do some dehydrating today. We're going to do some dehydrated chicken korma. I know chicken korma... I know a lot of people might say I should have done this separately, I should have done the chicken and the sauce separately, but I don't. I do everything all together. So, I'm going to turn you around so you can have a look. And then I'll put it in the dehydrator. Then I'll show you what I'm in the dehydrator. Then I will show you afterwards. Because I this was going to be one very long video. So, see you in a minute, right? Thank you. There you are, guys. There's the chicken korma. There's roughly 800 grams worth of chicken korma there. So I will be putting it in my dehydrator, and there's the dehydrator. It's not a technical one, it's not a posh one, it's just cheap and cheerful one, but it works. I'm going to put it on the trays with the holes, but I have put a piece of parchment paper on the bottom to catch the sauce. So, I will pause you there, and I'll put it in the, uh, the dehydrator, and then I'll show you afterwards what I've done that. Give me a second, guys. There you are, guys, that's all the chicken korma. I've just put it all on one shelf because at the end of the day it's just better that way for me personally. I know a lot of you say we we'll split it up, make it smaller, but I find this way is easier for me. Right, I'm going to turn you around, I'm going to switch it on, and then I'm going to turn you around and talk to you guys. There you go, I put it, always put it on 70, and you guys recommend anything else, please let me know. Because I really would appreciate it. Right, give me a second, guys. I'm going to turn you around. Right, you guys. Right, I'm back. Right. Thank you for all that. Basically, um, my question is as well. I've got a question for you guys. What would you dehydrate? What would you recommend to dehydrate? Because at the end of the day, I've, I've dehydrated quite a bit. But some things I've left out. So, what would you dehydrate? So, that's my question. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to say the same thing I said last time. I don't usually say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, to my channel, I will be, as I said, after this one. I'll, I'll show you my food bag after I've done this one. And um, so yeah, after I've done this, I'll show you the food bag, and then after that one, there will be a Dartmoor video where I will be on Dartmoor and walking across Dartmoor. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And same again, guys, I do apologise that I didn't actually comment, but I promise you I will answer them as soon as I get back from Dartmoor. Thank you. Bye-bye.